Hello there, this is Eli G. Brown slash Sonic Jr. and Sarah here with a Hero Factory villain mock that I just built up. This is King Sombra. Now, I know what you're thinking. If uh, you happen to be one of the my fellow Ronies out there, you know, uh, a boy fan of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Isn't King Sombra the name of the bad guy from the first episode of the third season? Well, in answer to your, to your question, yes. But this, this villain mock was actually based upon a rumored character. Yep, that's right. Somebody, I can't remember what his username is, feel free to call yourself out, made a video showing the names, some rumored names, not official names, just rumored, of the sets that are coming out in 2013 in the summertime. And, um, of course they weren't the official names, I, I have seen the names <coughs> of the upcoming 2013 summer sets. This is just based upon a rumored character. A character that was not official, just made up. So this is King Sombra. He is a bad guy. And, um, because his name is the same as the villain from the first episode of Season 3 of Friendship is Magic, I decided to make his color scheme be based upon that. <clears throat> Originally, I was going to make it look kind of a lot like Black Phantom, but I just decided to use the parts that I had now instead of just buying some off of Bricklink, and this is what I came up with. Now, the weapon that I made here, <coughs> I, I got this uh, orange uh, Rakshi weapon piece, it's in the same mold as uh, Lee Rock's weapon piece. Yeah. I do not, I do not know what set this piece originally came from. If you know what set this piece originally came from, feel free to call yourself out. And, uh, and, and this green piece right here is actually from Brain Attack Raka. And uh, these armor pieces, the translucent ones, those are from Breeze. <coughs> and uh, the green chest armor piece actually comes from the Ultra Build Green Lantern set. I just took the printing off of it because it was just not something that worked well with Hero Factory. And uh, I was going to originally have more purple on this character, but I just decided the wings are enough. And that's what I got. You may also notice that I got the back covered up pretty well by using one of those uh, Brain Attack Hero uh, main body pieces to cover up the back. I've actually come up with some other ways of covering up the back like that, such as maybe using the green chest armor piece from Breakout, the one that comes with the Joker set. <coughs> and uh, I did need to cover up the uh, front of the uh, body, so I'll just show you what that was. So, I used the translucent orange pieces in the three log size that come with bulk, and that's how it is covered up. And I just used this piece, it comes from Bruiser, just got it after revamping his right arm and just put this chest plate over it. You may also notice that the legs, the lower parts of the legs, are actually from Series 1, the 1.0 series as some people call them. 
I used the silver legs from Surge and the black leg armor pieces from Stringer. And then I used uh, gray Rakshi feet that come with Karapar. <laughs> and uh, I did also uh, look at Bulk's Brain Attack Mask, you know, the mask that comes with Bulk in the Brain Attack series, how I said that it looks like, it looks more like something that could be used for a villain. That's what I did. So, this is Bulk's Brain Attack Mask, and I just put on the visor piece from Inferno XL. You may remember if you saw my video earlier about my revamp on Inferno XL, I just swapped that out with the translucent visor piece from Bulk. And this is what I got. <laughs> so that is King Sombra, my villain Hero Factory mock, which is not in line with any particular Hero Factory series. It's obviously not in line with the Brain Attack series because he's not being attacked by an evil brain. And I'm not going to come up with an idea that he could be the main source of the brains being released because, well, I don't want to come up with an idea for a villain to be the source of the uh, of something happening because, well, what if I make up a main villain for a series that has not introduced their main villain yet, and then it turns out they did have a main villain. It's kind of like that time when I made a fanfic for Tough Puppy where I come up with this idea to wear glasses that allow you to see through the chameleon's disguise, but later they actually made an official episode where they actually do that. So, thank you for watching, and be sure to look out for more Hero Factory mocks and other videos to come to my channel. So that was King Sombra, a Hero Factory villain mock based upon a rumored character. I'll see you next time.